Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Zach. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into the channel and welcome back to another Red Dead Online video. In today's Red Dead Online video, I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of an exploit. Oh my god, this guy's going to kill me. Yeah. It seems like whenever I start my video, someone tries to grief me. It's like someone's either joining my session. My, my status is offline, so people shouldn't even be able to, like, join my session. Um, but we're, I'm going to be showing you guys a little exploit here in Red Dead Online that basically allows you to not only respawn with a hat every life, but re-equip a hat on your player when you're playing Showdown if your hat gets shot off mid-life. Now, um, this live commentary turned into like a glitch video, not only with what I'm about to show you, because what I'm about to show you isn't really a glitch, it's more of an exploit in the game that Rockstar may be patching soon, but there's like some extreme controller input lag going on in Red Dead Online right now, so you'll see the gameplay, it's pretty funny. But, uh, because I'm struggling to shoot, I mean, we still dominate the games, but it's really weird. So basically, what you're gonna do, guys, is when you go into Showdown, you normally, in order to equip posse outfits, you go to posse, then you go to settings, and then you can click your outfit style, and you could do rugged or big city. But what you want to do in um, Showdown, and I show you guys in the video as well, is you go to players, because posse is uh, grayed out, and most of these settings are grayed out. So you go to players, then you click on yourself, view posse, settings, and then you can change your outfit midlife. So if your hat gets shot off with never without one, never without one blocks a one-shot headshot on you because if you're wearing a hat, basically the bullet knocks it off, and if you get shot again, you die. But you could do this to re-equip a hat midlife when your hat gets shot off. So a couple people have been uploading um, this method, and I've been using it for the past couple weeks um, because you guys let me know about it in the YouTube comments. But now, since it seems like everyone's talking about it, I might as well make a video on it as well. You know, I'll just let you guys watch the gameplay. You can see what I'm talking about in terms of the controller input lag and how basically it seems like the dead, like my settings are fine on um, Red Dead Online. My settings are the same as they've always been. The dead zone is like at absolutely the lowest it could possibly be. So you don't need to like press the the controller stick fully for your character to move or anything like that. But there's just some lag going on. The gameplay feels different. I need to study for an exam, so I'm not even gonna play anymore. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And let's roll the gameplay. We're in this. Let's go. Rocking the Lancaster and the semi-auto. We are gonna see how we do this match. I think is this most wanted? Yeah, this is most wanted on Saint Denis. So that's gonna be fun. I'm really excited for this update, guys. If you guys are excited for the update, let me know down in the comments. Oh my god, we're about to get... Well, we got him. No worries, no worries. We are level 98, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost level 100. I don't think... Oh my god, we just... We got so lucky with that kill right there. Um, so here you go. You guys can see that my hat is off, right? And so I'm gonna just come into cover right here. I think I'm gonna get... I'm gonna get shot. But basically what you wanna do is you wanna go to players right here, then you wanna click your name, go to view posse, settings, and then here you could change your outfit again. You could swap to the outfit um, you already have, which it should be the posse outfit. Um, but basically what I noticed is never without one, Basically, I originally was using posse outfits to respawn with a hat when I was using the never without one ability card But then I noticed something special When you use never without one and use posse outfits You could do this to change your outfit mid-match or mid-life I should say and get your hat back on your player a lot of people are starting to do this now pineapples came out with a video um, Smokes nugs has been streaming a lot and he actually came out with a video on his new PC talking about this as well so like this whole, like, little exploit is heating up. I recommend you guys abuse this now before it gets patched. I think that Rockstar is going to patch this. This doesn't seem like something they want in the game. Maybe it does, um, or maybe it is something they want in the game. I can't imagine it being something because they purposely blocked out the posse section um, in your match for a reason, but this is just a work around that. I've, again, like I said, I'm not sure if they intended this to be the workaround and they just wanted it to be slower for players. Um, and you know make it like not worth it to do midlife, but I think that this is technically an exploit This you really shouldn't be able to do this And I think that Rockstar is going to update this on Tuesday because now you guys can see a lot of videos on YouTube Are getting popular in terms of this so and I've noticed a lot more people have hats on in the game like not many people are one-shot headshots anymore. This game um, is a little bit different. A lot of people seem to be one-hit kills, but a lot of people at the same time aren't. And most of the time, if I'm just playing, most of the time people aren't one-hit kills anymore. Most of the people rocking Never Without One usually are, are both respawning with a hat, doing it mid-life, things like that. So it's a really good method. I think it is a little bit overpowered. 
Um, but then again, I also don't think so because you're left pretty vulnerable while you try and do it. So I don't really see why, um, you know, it's necessarily too overpowered. It is a little bit of work to kind of get it going. I mean, you got to learn how to click the buttons really fast and, and navigate it, uh, navigate to that section in the menu. Oh my God. Dude, my controller feels a little bit delayed right now. I don't know why. Maybe it's just, no, this, dude, something. Hold on, maybe it's because this thing's plugged in. I don't know. This controller, um, same with my other one that I just switched out from as well. It just feels it feels delayed. It really feels delayed. I don't know what it is, but it feels delayed. Um, nonetheless, though, we're just going to continue on here. We're going to keep getting some kills. Oh, my God. I can't. What the heck? That was... this Dude, this lobby's, this lobby's not acting right. The other lobby I was in before for my warm-up game, it was acting weird as well. It just seems like the dead zone on my sticks aren't right. I don't know, maybe it's something in my settings. Something's messed up though. All my controls seem to be okay, but I was noticing this in the free roam as well. It's like when I move this stick, it doesn't move for a second. And then after I stop moving the stick, you, my guy continues to, like the camera continues to still move around. Um, I don't know if it's just like delayed or something. It's the same thing with button clicks as well. I was trying to navigate over to the menu, aiming in as well, like dead eye isn't working for some reason. Um, or it's like this weird delay on it. I don't know if it's something going on with my internet or the game. Xbox has issues right now in free roam as well. Like no NPCs are spawning, no animals are spawning in the game. It's like, oh, this is really delayed. Aiming down your sights is like, why is that so? Dude, no, this is this is delayed. It's laggy. It just feels, it's off. It honestly is off. Let me know, go into Red Dead Online right now. Let me know if you guys are experiencing some lag in the ADS as well. It's actually severely messing with my gameplay. Um, this is, this is definitely not my internet. This is something to do server side with Rockstar Games. This feels so weird, guys. Look at the way my character is moving. I'm like barely tapping the analog stick, and I'm like not able to run around. This video may turn into something totally different. All I wanted to show you guys was that little exploit. Uh, dude, the auto aim isn't even working either. What is going on, dude? This guy can't hit me. Dude, ev I think everyone's having issues on this game. This is very, this is broken. Whatever's going on right now is totally broken. Um, the main point of this video was to show you guys that little exploit with the posse outfits uh, Because it's really good. It'll help you survive a lot, but trying to get gameplay right now, dude This is delayed and it's fucking weird. I Don't know if I like what's going on. This is uh, this shouldn't be happening And I think this has, is, has something to do with Rockstar. This is definitely not my internet that's causing this and this definitely isn't my controllers because I'm using a totally different controller than what um, I was using last game when I had the issue. I was like, oh, maybe it's the controller, something to do with the thumbsticks. No, this is, uh, I don't know, guys. I I'm going to look on Twitter and see what's going on because I am just totally, I I'm confused <laughs> on what's going on right now with the controls, the sensitivity, the dead zone on the thumbsticks. It's laggy, it's delayed, it's unresponsive. I can't tell if it's just the input isn't going in correctly or if it's just completely delayed. We went 15 and three, we're gonna play another game. We're still gonna do our classic double live commentary here. So let's just jump into the next game. I'm gonna look on Twitter and see what's causing this problem though. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Um, I think I'm still noticing the lag. I couldn't find any results on Reddit about it. Uh, so we're just gonna move on. We're gonna try and deal with it and play this match and just kind of suffer through it. But it's severely hindering my gameplay. Um, unless I've just never noticed this before and this is my first time realizing this and then I feel like an idiot But I'm also noticing I can't lock on to people point-blank with the auto aim And it's not like I'm trying to abuse the auto aim But I'm trying to test it to see if there's actually something wrong because right now my gameplay feels totally different I was just playing earlier today, and it wasn't like this at all um, So I'm not too sure what's going on um, But nonetheless we have B so we're gonna make our way over I guess to see right here because it's being captured by the purple team so we're gonna take that there's a few enemies over here let's see whoa what the dude this is nah something's going on dude something's going on what is going on with this controller bro what is oh, I'm gonna turn this off I'm gonna see cuz what the heck dude like my guy stopped aiming and everything I don't know dude even when it's plugged in, it seems like the lag is worse when the controller's plugged in. It shouldn't be... Nah, something's, something's up. I don't know. I want to work through this, guys, but, like, this is just weird. Look, look, I just... Why did I aim up for no reason? I didn't even put push the stick that way. And it's happening. Like, what is going on, dude? 
I really wonder if this is the servers or if this is the game because it's severely broken on Xbox. Like, look at the wait, the auto aim. Oh my god, I'm not too sure. Now I'm just kind of playing around with the auto aim to see what's going on. My guy's aiming out and he stops ADSing, so he goes to the hip fire, and that's delaying me in the gunfight from getting these shots off on people, which again is hindering the gameplay experience right now. Let me try just aiming and seeing if I can pop him. Oh, I missed him. <laughs> I shot his hat off. So we had one guy here using Never Without One. There's a few other people in this lobby. Right there when I was sprinting, I was holding down the LT button to aim in. My guy wasn't ADSing. I know this isn't me. I know I keep going on about it, but like, I feel like it's hard to tell from the gameplay that something is seriously laggy and glitched right now. That there is huge controller input lag or, or some type of server lag or bad connection or something because something's wrong so we're gonna do this little exploit again we're gonna go here to players my name view posse settings outfit style and then just change it again and there you go we have a fresh hat on in the middle of our life so we can get back to the action and start mowing these people down uh oh that guy's dead we could i was gonna say can we bop him from there oh my god that would have been that was like severe auto aim Why can't I hit anyone from here, man? Oh my god, that took forever. I'm dead. <laughs> this is so bad. This is embarrassing, this game. I don't think I'm doing too bad, but like... <laughs> I just shot, I'm pretty sure, all bullets in my... I don't want to say magazine. It's a repeater. I don't know. In the in the gun, basically. But I, sh I emptied the whole gun in terms of ammo. Yo, can I... What? <laughs> He's not... Oh, he is in Deadeye. That's what was going on. Now he's dead. <laughs> oh, Deadeye is so OP, man. I haven't I haven't had some guy who's good with Deadeye try and kill me before like that. At least this video. Bro, what? They're both rocking never without one. Dude, my headshots aren't connecting. Oh my god. What? <laughs> oh, this is embarrassing, dude. This controller's like I don't even know what to say at this point. Everyone's using Deadeye, so it's making it even harder. I have to put more bullets into so Whoa! Whoa! Dude, I wasn't even touching the controller! And it just completely... Nah, man. Hold on. Look at this. I'll just... Look, I'll flick it, and it'll, like, keep moving. Oh, my God. That was so bad. Did you see that? It went like this. Completely. Something... It's gotta be... It's exaggerating how much input I'm putting on the thumbsticks or something because sometimes I'll just flick it and I'll turn completely like that. I just flicked the thumbstick and I almost turned 180 degrees and with a third person game like this where the sensitivity is low to begin with that shouldn't happen. It's like not picking up on the input past a certain point. My dead zone is all the way down so this shouldn't be happening. Even even the menu's laggy. Look at this. Look at this. I'm spamming the button. I'm spamming the button. And it's like stopping. Look at that. I'll go up. Why is it? Dude, that's... That should not be happening, man. Even trying to go back. What? Oh my god, dude. This is laggy. Rockstar, is your game broken right now? I don't even know what to title this video anymore. I was going to title it The Exploit, but... This may just be like Rockstar Games is like or Red Dead Online is broken because right now, <laughs> dude, my care, dude, I can't, I can't turn. I have to be the only one right now having this issue because everyone seems to be playing just fine. This controller is maybe the controllers I'm using are just both all of a sudden simultaneously they just died somehow. Dude, this is bad. This is really bad. This whole video is about this now. Nonetheless, man, drop a like for my struggle. I can't even, dude, I can't even react. What the heck is going on? If you guys are having this issue either today or you've had it before, let me know because I hope that my whole like setup here isn't like totally destroyed, but something something bad is going on in Red Dead Online right now. I want to finish up this game uh, because we are about to win, which is really nice. So let's see how we do this game. Let's see, can we go for this last guy who's like literally right here? No, I want to switch to my, dude, it didn't switch. Uh, well, that's it. I, uh, 
I'm gonna stop recording and I'm gonna see if this is still going on. I have to study for an exam anyway, so I really shouldn't keep playing this game tonight. I'm gonna play probably tomorrow. It's not even worth playing anymore with all this controller lag. 10 and 6. This is the worst score I've done using a semi auto shotgun and a Lancaster repeater. Oh my god. So. The point of this video was to show you guys to use the posse outfits in showdown upgrade never without one to the max because what i've noticed is you don't even need posse outfits with never without one three if you have it upgraded every time you respawn you respawn with a hat but if you use posse outfits it guarantees you respawn with a hat as well as there's a new way or just a way in general to re-equip an outfit and your hat mid-life if your hat gets shot off so that way, it can, you can allow it to just keep getting shot off and you don't get headshotted as much in Red Dead Online. I'm not sh too sure what's going on with this controller input or lag, but like I said, let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day. If you want to win some free gold bars in Red Dead Online, enter my giveaway. Click the gleam.io link down in the description to enter as well as subscribe to my channel. Drop a like on this video. I hope to see you guys in the next Red Dead Online video. Thank you guys so much for watching and see you then. Adios, amigos.